Now, I've done a lot of videos on the B vitamins, but I don't think I've ever done a video on inositol, which is vitamin B8. Now, they no longer classify inositol as a B vitamin because they found out your body can make it. However, it is a vitamin, and it's actually quite important. So your body makes uh, inositol. Your kidneys make inositol. Uh, other parts of your body make inositol. It's most abundant in your brain. And um, in practice, I would use it to help curb cravings to carbs. It's actually a sugar alcohol, and it's made from glucose. And uh, it, it greatly helps insulin resistance and blood sugars. And you can even suck on it, and it tastes sweet, which is interesting. And large doses, like 2,000 milligrams twice a day, if you add a little folate to it, uh, you can see some serious improvements with ADD, OCD, uh, overwhelm, depression, problems with binge eating. And uh, Nasatol is intimately involved with certain communication pathways involving neurotransmitters and hormones. It acts as a natural antidepressant, and it also has anti-anxiety effects. Its effects are similar to metformin. If you're familiar with metformin, that is a drug that they use for diabetes type 2. And it makes the receptor for insulin more receptive to insulin. So it helps to regulate blood sugars. And they also use metformin for PCOS because PCOS is a situation where you have insulin resistance, high insulin, and then that actually converts to high androgens. So because metformin helps lower insulin, it's good for PCOS. But guess what? Inositol can also do that and has a lot less side effects. Any effect that you would see with lowering insulin, you're going to see a similar effect in when you take inositol. So it's going to help with a lot of different things. A lot of women take it for PCOS, and I would do large doses as well. Now, the type of inositol you would want to take is called myo-inositol. All right, number three, it can help restore these two hormone ratios, follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Those are two hormones that are made by your pituitary that send signals down to the ovaries. And also, if you're a guy, it sends signals to the testicle to help produce testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. And so inositol helps restore these two ratios. So let's say, for example, you had a problem with your menstrual cycle. Inositol can help you. Let's say you're trying to get pregnant and you want to increase your fertility. Inositol can help. Let's say, for example, you did fasting or the ketogenic diet, and then you had a problem with your menstrual cycle. Whether it got too heavy or it went away, you'd want to take inositol. Number four, and I've already mentioned this, inositol can help reduce the need for binge eating. Because it's involved with helping your body make uh, neurotransmitters and certain hormones, uh, specifically serotonin. And serotonin uh, helps you with depression, anxiety, cravings, and it's like a hormone that helps make you calm, kind of like an anti-stress hormone. And that leads to number five, reduces stress, so it can increase your stress tolerance and help you with mood swings. Other than that, it doesn't really do anything else. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.